Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Great War Redux mod playing as a German Empire. Now, it's not where we left off yesterday because I was actually really, really enjoying this mod, and I might have broken through the French lines using a combination of what I like to call flesh und Steel. Lots of armored cars and horses just breaking through, surrounding or cutting off the Belgians from the rest of the Allies, and this was just... Amazing. Here are the casualties so far. I've only lost 37,000 against the Americans, the French, the British, the Belgians, and more. This is good. This is some good stuff. But anyways, last time, we took out Sweden, mostly. We've invaded Swin uh, Finland. Finland as well. And the Ukraine is my puppet. We took out Belarus. Belarus is gone. Bulgaria is fully under Bulgarian control. And we're also justifying to go to war with Albania, which... We might as well do now. Might as well. So, uh, in, regardless, we're doing really well. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. This is basically going to turn into like some sort of Kaiserreich universe. Um, would you guys like to go? Thank you, thank you. Let's see if you guys want to go. Yes. Yes. Ottoman stormtroopers. Ooh, very nice. Do they? They did not accept you yet. Ah, there we go. Now they're moving in. Good. So, like, right before I started recording this, actually, yesterday, technically, but I decided to just ramp my lines until we got up to Dunkirk. It did take me a while. Um, it is 1918. Germany is not starving. I know in the old Great... In one of the Great War mods, that there was a war exhaustion mechanic, and then it would just give you more and more penalties as the longer you stayed at war. But uh, we don't have that right now. So that's actually really nice. And it's like a French convoy, so... Uh, Germany's not starving. Um, we have all the Ukraine and Eastern Europe, or really, really far Eastern Europe is just killing itself, which is fine with me. And also the Italians are in the war, but no one cares about that. We will deal with the Italians when it is proper to do so. Ah, uh, no Albanian threats this year. Beautiful. Just... Ah, uh, that is nice. Actually, Transcaucasia. How strong are these guys? Oh. Ah. Hmm. Remus, I think you have new orders. If we're going to go to war, we might as well go all the way to war. Do it all the way, and you know what? I might not just give this country... I might just manually control it. I don't think I should really give it to the Ottomans. You never know in history what, what they might end up doing. Also, a couple comments, of course, play as different nations. I'm going to try to. I've got other things planned, but I'm going to try to play as other nations. Um, besides playing other nations, someone said, I need to save space for synthet synthetic refineries. I absolutely do, since we are running out of space. But we do have the technology that we could research that will give me more space once I research it. 10% more max factories. We'll get that 20% more, actually. It's not 10%. Building up more stuff, I guess, which is always good. Give me one more. Just one more. One more civilian factory. I'm addicted to factories. I'm sorry. I have, I, I'm have. i an addict. I have a problem here. I love factories. You know what? Your goal now. Take out the Belgians. Oil pro Actually, hold on. Oil production is really nice. That'd be really good to do. Synthetic refineries. That's, we have to do that next. Uh, how many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Oh, actually, you guys can move down. Come to Northern France right there. But, how many naval bombers do we have? Oh my god, yes. Oh, we could destroy probably a good chunk of the British fleet if we did it like this. With the... Uh, oh, maybe not. I don't think they have a port, which is actually good for us. That's why I went to, I got a little bit past Dunkirk and took the port away from the Belgians and the Brits so they could not do anything. Oh no, a devastating loss for us all. No. So... You guys come here, and you guys do that area. Northern France, good, cut them down eight and a half. Give me a few, we don't have any more fighters. God dang it. Hmm. We're gonna need more fighters. We're really gonna need more fighters. I wanna see if we can bomb anything in here. In the English Channel, because, well, oh, maybe a French convoy? I wanna beat up their battleships. And the French battleships too. Oh, what is that? Another convoy? We lost the plane? That's okay. That's okay. Alright. 
The flesh and the steel must roll out. Autobots roll out. Yes. And then we're going to have one massive battle against the French. Oh, you're actually going that way too. Well, that's okay. Well, the Belgians are going to die here anyways, so. Good. Convoys are sinking. Not many, but some. Definitely some. Uh, at this point, they're so weak. We might just be able to do a full front attack. And also, smart of someone to say in the comments, you should use field hospitals several episodes ago. And that was a very smart idea. But Brussels has, has fallen. German troops easily broke through the defenses of the Belgian army and invaded Brussels. The German headquarters immediately organized a parade of winners in the center of the Belgian capital. The fall of Belgium means that the French capital will be at risk of capture. Well, it already is. Well, and at risk. The road to Paris is open. Can the Entente urgently organize a defense, or can the war be considered over? Another victory for the Vaterland. Belgium is... Oh, my God. All right, it's time to go, everyone. Go. Go. Did I give you orders? Maybe not. That might have been a bad idea. Oh, we didn't just let time go on. There you go. Nice. Let's go ahead. All the Portuguese, all the British here, all these soldiers. Oh, they're dying. Oh, my God. Oh, Finland's gone, too. Totally forgot about the fence. There's at least 40... 50 divisions there in that little encirclement. Oh, that's this is just beautiful. This is just... Oh. Yes. Yes. Also, I think I was doing, yeah, naval production to make more ships. But since we are here again with you guys watching me, I'm going to go do establish a Finnish monarchy. Yes. Absolutely. Can I release him as a puppet? Yes, please go if you can. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. Oh, they're done. Oh, they are done. We are breaking to Paris right now. Oh, we are on that little nice French underbelly. You guys get to the line as fast as possible. Everyone, get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. Get to position. Oh, we're breaking across. Oh, we're breaking. Actually, how many men have they lost in total? Seven, over seven million. I've lost 38,000 as an individual country. This is insane. Move in, move in. Even if they're not going to win in some places, the damage that is done to them is just amazing. Come on. Oh, floating fortresses? Good. We're going to need that for where we're going. Oh. Oh, we lost a plane. That's okay. Sunk a convoy. Sunk a convoy. Sunk a convoy. Nice. Paris is a frontline city almost. It should be, actually. It is a frontline city. We are attacking it. The French can't hold us back. They cannot hold us back. Oh boy, oh boy. We've completely gone past their defenses. Now, Paris has fallen. It's been almost clear to civilians. Only a few, those too old or ill or stubborn to clear out, have come out of their homes in shops to see the pickle halved and stahl helmed men marching through the capital. The specter of 1870 haunts the city once again. Within 50 years, it happens again. The French defense made any many serious mistakes that caused a breakthrough of the German troops in Paris. Germany achieved her goal, and war apparently will end with the defeat of the Entente. Well, I don't know if this will really end with the Entente since America and the UK are in the war, but we'll see what happens. Hey, man, I'm totally cool with that. We still gotta beat up the Italians, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we don't want to risk any unneeded naval invasions by the British, but I'm not gonna say that we won't welcome any naval invasions because then we can destroy enemy convoys like crazy. Go ahead and increase this to four for now. Keep this actually on high, which will be a oh a very good thing. Hello. Oh my gosh, now that's an encirclement. Oh yeah. And this is just from infantry. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. That is devastating. Three million have died so far. How many more? How many more do you want? Hmm? Another tank? Yeah. Actually, can we see if they can pierce my tanks? Well, those are horses, so no. Uh, where are my tankies at? Oh, there you are. Well, the tanks are in reserve. They're always in reserve. The infantry really like attacking. And you know what? Instead of you guys just doing uh, the Benelux region, come here. English Channel, that's good. Northern France, come here. Northern France. Go there. Go there. There you go. I'll leave the Benelux region for now a little bit. You guys, Northern France, come right there. But really, you're going to come right there. And then you guys. Let's air support. Make sure every army has at least one thing in close air support. That's pretty useful. Nice. 
This way we don't have to always move them around and they get up to the air bases where they need to be. Which is a very good thing. Now Italy's going to be on a two-front war. How do you like it, Italy? A two-front war for you? Yes. Yes, please. Shadowbog, move. Beautiful. More recovery rate. Ooh, could we break to... Uh, what was that? La Rochelle? La Rochelle? Oh, it's, it's, it's over for the French. It's completely over. The longer the wait, the more dead people you're going to have, son. Get some support weapons. We're not even out of equipment. I mean, we're doing really, really well. Nice. Ah, we got Cherbourg. Very nice. Brittany has been cut off. Well, they still have ports, but still. Oh, yeah. This is nice. We're going to get some more fuel. Ah, oh, Raymond Poincaré. I don't know how to say his last name. He asked for peace. So after losing control of the front, France is no longer able to fight the German Empire. In order to avoid the spread of war and devastation into the country, the command of the French army decided to request a truce between the Entente and the German Empire. Well, my son, I'm a little bit past the front. Not going to lie. I'm almost in Occitania. Actually, I'm in Occitania. The war is over. German didn't accept center of France. Well, that... Oh, they actually invaded down here. Well, not for long. The, the Austrians can deal with them. But, uh... You know what? Actually, before we do that, who are the major powers here? The UK, France, Italy, and the United States, and the French are speaking on behalf of everyone. That's a really finished lake, huh? Cool. The war's over. 1919. God dang, this is like Kaiserreich. Having lost control of the front, France is no longer able to fight against the German Empire in order to spread. Yeah, we already read this one. We won! Good, keep killing them. I want my war reparations, boy. I'm going to make the Treaty of Versailles look like a deal that everyone wants. If not completed within 10 days, UK leaves on taunt. Peace with France. Oh. You know what? Just keep killing them. Just keep killing them for now. You know what? I wonder. Can I just find the Netherlands right now, then? That's going to put me in another war, probably. That would probably put me in another war. Ah, France has capitulated. Beautiful. Get to the hills quickly. We still have Italians to get rid of. I don't want to cause too many supply issues. Wow, we actually lost... Well, actually, we didn't have a full army before we even began, so... Go ahead and do that. If they're going to pull off soldiers. Um, 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 okay. Uh, Carl? You're good to go? They have abandoned the line somewhat? Where did all the Italians go? Uh, you can also come to the line, too. There you go. There you go. Get to the line. There's not that many Italian people there. Oh, now they've shown up a little bit more. Uh, good. Get down to Venice. Venito. Alright, so if that's the case, you guys. I'm stationing you guys up north just in case the Brits invade. I'm stationing you down this part just in case the Brits invade. I'm stationing you around the south just in case the Brits invade. Or someone else invades. I don't know. Maybe the Canadians will. Uh oh, peace conference. Who is this? Is this Russia? Is this us? The U.S. signed a peace treaty with the German Empire. Now, it just says peace treaty, and even though I think I was a little rash in assigning peace treaties um, in my Austro-Hungarian game, just because they're at peace doesn't mean we're not going to get anything out of this. So let's give it a moment. Maybe I should not have told them to be at peace. Whatever. Now we're at peace with Italy. So I hope we can break up all these states. I hope this turns into, like, a Great War Capitulation, such as in Victoria 2. I doubt it, but we'll see what happens. They join... Oh, this is still a, a, a mod and beta, but... Um, I want Belgium, a lot of France, so... Yeah, I... You better be giving me my stuff, man. I did not wipe peace out. I lost 40,000 people. Okay, so 90 days... Ruth Scramble for Africa, Copenhagen Convention. Yeah. Cool. Oh, we can do that one just because I think it'd be worth it. Also, 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 also. So we can develop a vaccine. We already somehow, like, I did this like twice. To develop a flu vaccine, there's a 10% chance that the vaccine will be developed. It's already developed. We have it. We just need to have max vac vaccinations. Vaccinations. I can't speak. Vaccinations. Because we still have the uh, influenza right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. And I'll pull out the tanks, too. God dang, I love tanks. That armor, while it's not great, 
Enemies just couldn't pierce it, and that's an amazing thing. I didn't have to blow up the British Navy either. That's amazing. Now that is properly screened. Alright, you guys, go home, and then train. We can use more naval XP. Now, the rest of this campaign, I'm not sure what it's going to be like. I want to see the peace deal. I still want to go to war with these guys. We'll see what happens. I do want to do the peace deal before we go to war with them, though. We'll see what happens first. Because if we can take a bunch of territory, split up France, break them up, break up the Italians or something like that, that'd be great. But for the love of God, uh, Italy, please don't go to war. Or Austria-Hungary, don't go to war with Italy. Please. Ah, finish monarchy. Good. And it's time for the Kaiserreich. Yes, land auction research speed goes up by 50%. More daily political power gain, a little bit less population, and a little bit less war support, which actually isn't too bad. Uh, can people not give me my goods or something? Fuel? Oh, Mexico. Oh, poor, poor Mexico. Oh, well, we're still having, we still have a lot of resources, so. The Geyserreich has been born. Nice. And I might convert some of my horses into mid little tanks. I think that'd be, that might be worth it. I said, you go there, you go there. Nice. How long was that going to take for Austria to justify on them? Uh, quite a while, which is, which is okay with me, which is totally okay. You guys have done great. Uh, like I said, we do want to go to war with the Transcaucasia so we can secure that fuel. But we might not be done with this campaign. We might consider... Uh, making sure that no one on the east ever rises up again, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Trotsky or Vladimir Lenin, the Russian national state government. Hello, mama. Ah, uh, but, uh, Lenin. How strong are these guys? Quite a few divisions. A lot more, probably a lot more divisions. No manpower. Up, 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 oh, oh, uh oh. The whites might just win. Huh. You know what? Get upgrades up to a little higher. That'd be good. Now we can go to war with them, and let's. Oh, we can't do that yet. We need more, a little bit more political power. Um, we've done, we've done really well. Oh, we can. Wait, do we get the Suez? No. Huh. Yeah, the Ottoman state needs to get all of Egypt, and all, all the colonies of Northern Africa. Uh, that that's only fair. Like, if not, I'll just go back to war with them. Like, we will beat you up again, if we have to. Oh, look at that. A provisional government. A... Is that a fascist provisional government? Hmm. Maybe not. A lot of manpower. Mexican convention has capitulated. Very nice. Honestly, I want Luxembourg under me. I went to war with them. I deserve Luxembourg. All of Belgium. A good chunk of France. Ah, the Third French Empire declared war on the French Commune. Wait, that was the French Republic. Oh, hello. Ah, the proto-fascists. Export of a revolution. Oh, wow. Hey, this dude. I don't know who he is, though, but cool. Yes, divide yourselves. Divide yourselves. Make it easier for us to beat you up later. Again, and again, and again. You got a million manpower. You got quite a bit. And they have way more divisions. Well, good luck, guys. Good luck. We're just hanging out, having a good time. Carl almost had an amazing time. Yeah, Romania, no, you're going to die, Romania. I'm sorry, but you were under Austro-Hungarian administration during the war, and if we're not properly compensated for our losses, it's not going to be a good time for you. Just saying. How much political power do we have? 0.71 a day? Ooh, that is not bueno. Wow, look at that lag. That is some serious lag. Is someone else rebelling? Also, we deserve Albania, too. Hmm. Let's see. How many more days must we wait until the peace conference? I really want that vaccine. 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 So, improving stability. That's good. Why is weekly change going down? What the heck? I mean, we have resistance and stuff, but... Influence of revolution. Oh! Influence of revolution. Ah, wow, that's going that sucks. So, after the end of the Great War, military alliances we can do to internal divisions. Most alliances have transformed into international treaties, which would reduce global tension. At the end of the peace conference in Frankfurt, Germany and Britain decided to conclude a convention in neutral Denmark. Uh, Denmark is taken over. That would allow for the creation of a peacekeeping counterpart for disarmament and security in war-torn countries to keep fragile peace. If I don't get my countries that I demand, 
I'm just going to take stuff. Like, seriously. I'm just going to use my state chest for tool mod and take stuff. If I'm not given my proper amount of goods. Cool. Uh, Emergency Powers Act. Reich's Pact. Veteran Organization. Metal Europa. Let's, let's create Euro Metal Europa. That'd be good. So. I will give him another, like, a week or two. Frankfurt Conference failed. Oh, wow. Um, we'll get claims, states, and courts after the conference. Well, wow, the world is falling to communism, huh? Oh, hold on. Did we get something? Oh, we might have gotten stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So it seems like we did get this province of Vosquez that we did claims on. We did have Wallonie. Good, good. Did our flag change? I think our flag changed. We are now the Kaiserreich. Um, we should have an ability to eventually core Luxembourg. I think that would only be fair. Oipin is definitely ours. Rhineland, you are you are never going to own the Rhineland, France. I swear to God. Uh, this is Eastern Front. This is Western Front. Be on the border with these savages. Oh, hey, look at this. They're our puppet. Ah, oh, Albert, buddy, buddy. How are you doing, my friend? Sorry about the whole Brussels thing. It, it was just a necessary evil, you know. Cool. Now, is anyone justifying? Or, oh, wait, hold on. We removed... Oh, we can't go to war with them now since we're, no one's in our faction. <sighs> well, the world just keeps on turning. And I don't think I'll actually take them over. I'm just going to, to puppet these guys. I think that would be, make the most sense here. Uh, the French Republic, the Commune... They have fallen into a state of a communist tyranny. Influence of revolution? Good. Give them the revolution. Let's see. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, look. Oh, my God. We stretched from coast to coast in Africa. We got the Congo. We got that, too. We have this. Oh, give me. No, no, no. You give me your colonies, UK. Even though we didn't even come to the UK. I was planning to, but. Okay, so what did the US lose? Anything? Did they just wipe peace out? Come on, Woodrow Wilson. Pfft, criticize for weak foreign policy? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? How dare you? How absolutely dare you? And I know I'm going to comment on the East very soon. The Red Movement. Jesus. This is why we can't have nice things. All these red people. Oh, hold on. I can't say that. The Persians got... Wow. Wow. And look at that. We own Laos. Yeah, we, oh, we even got this part of... Oh, the British Empire. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Yes. We got more colonies down here, too. We took it from Australia. Port Mosby. Oh. oh, my goodness. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, wait. The Danes even have... Oh, that's the Civil War, too. The Turkish Social Republic just joining an alliance, and they capitulated. Okay. Well, then. You know what? I like. I kind of like this universe. This is kind of a nice universe. Ease up on conscription. Get more communism. Lose stability. Uh, I really don't want to lose by population. I'll work really hard for it. That just, that just tells me that we need to go to war. So, And there goes the Danish Civil Union. Denmark is okay. Well then. Now, there's not going to be a ton left for this campaign. But I do want to finish up and keep going down this uh, focus path, focus tree path, just so to see what happens, see if we can do anything cool, defender of the faith, faith, oh, we can't do that one, but that looks really awesome, revive order the crusaders, oh my goodness, god, that'd be really cool to reform that, uh, oh, in, even Austria got Veneto, oh, Italy, I'm surprised you haven't fallen to socialism or fascism yet, black shirt veterans, well, it, it, it's only 1919. You know, whatever. But what about Romania? Like, that's not very cool. I mean, we beat the snot out of the Romanians. You know what I really like, though? That the Bulgarians were in a completely separate war than, oh my gosh, everyone else. Uh, I guess I'm making a lot of the stuff here. But, uh, they're still under the Austrian boot. Good job, Austria. Proud of you. Proud of you, Austria. Good job. Even though I, I took them out for them. Yeah, no, I think Romania... Mm, no, no. Nice. Yeah, at this point, I'm just going to manually give it to Austria. 
No. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's proper Bulgarian territory. Just... We're gonna isolate them. If anything, they should just have been annexed. Like, come on, it's Romania. It should at least be a puppet of Austria. But anyways, Emergency Powers Act? Yes. Yes. Very nice. We could have given this to the Ottomans, but whatever. Manpower's looking okay. Mm, how long can we wait to go to war? They're guaranteed by Mexico. Mexico, you really want a war, don't you? You really want to feel good about yourself, Mexico, huh? Ah, there goes the French Republic. Great, the Communists won. How delightful. Good. Alright, let's double check our divisions. They're 19, 20 combat width. You know what? I didn't even put field hospitals on these guys yet. Oh, terrible of me. Tabs, absolutely terrible. I'm not even using Mountaineers. Cavalry, Special Forces. Do, they do have them on them. They have military police, Panzer, Wagons. Yeah, anything here is going to hurt my armor, so we're not going to do that. Ah, you guys get here. Train as well. Good, good, good. Man, that stability is going way down. We are doing interwar recovery, which really does suck, so. Weekly war support goes down. Whatever, you know. Build, build, build. Yeah, these people definitely belong to me as a puppet. There's no other way they can survive without them being a puppet of me. So, now we have the French Commune. Now, please tell me they have a unique focus tree. They do not. I am... I am disappointed. Well, I mean, it's still the French focus tree, technically. They can probably still do diplomatic effort, support Italian claims, stuff like that, so... Get Alsace-Lorraine back. Well, you're gonna need more than Alsace-Lorraine. You're gonna need Vosquez. Are <sighs> oh, you guys... Yeah, you're training. Herman, man. That was awesome. That was really, really cool. But let's finish up a few things. British Egypt. <sighs> we couldn't... <sighs> Come on. This should not be... A... Is this a puppet of the British? Yeah, that's not really fair. If I if we won the Great War, I know we didn't beat up the British that hard, but come on, man, you gotta give me more than that. You really do. Hmm, the Great Mongol State. Anything else? Do we have anything here? Oh, what? Soviet State of Norway. Hmm. Can we spy on the Russians? That could come in handy. That could come in real handy. Uh, yeah, you guys are the commies. And then you guys... You're my puppet, so... Ease up on conscription. It's fine with me. Oh boy, are we back at war? We're basically back at war. Especially with the UK and Soviet Russia. So be it. Whatever. Mm, naval bombers doing a great job. Give me some... Do we have any planes here? Early fighters? Give me those guys. If you attack my puppets, I will mercilessly kill you off. We protect our own. Fireman? Nope. Very good, very good. Ah, um, yep, the UK, the UK wants war. I mean, I don't understand why the UK would really want more war, but you know what? I'm okay with that. And are you guys part of the... Why is America still here? Why is the National Guard of Pennsylvania still there? You know what? If these guys really want to do it again, I'm just literally just going to straight up, like, make you a puppet of me. That's fine. We'll go to war with them. That's fine. What are we missing? Nice. Go on, stop doing that. One support... We need... Oh, we're gonna need more support equipment. That's fine. Lower that by five. That's fine for now. Lower that by five. We'll work on military factories as time goes on. Good. And that'll be good enough. Good. Nice. Well, I mean, hey, they wanted war again, so... I will protect my puppets as best as I can. Wow. The entire world is falling to all this stuff. Would you like... It? Oh. Oh, look at that. Triumvirate. So we are not in a faction. Austria-Hungary. Your faction name here. Uh, how about the... Oh, Central Powers. That sounds like a nice play. Nice thing. I think, I think it's kind of nice. Cool. Would you, would you like to join us, maybe? Would you also... Oh, Persia, you don't want to join us? 
Oh, that's sad. That's really, really sad. Hey, but we're back at war. Would you like to join a faction? Would anyone else like to join a faction? Maybe the Danes? I think our allies are already have. Uh, actually... Ah, uh, beautiful. Well, you want Mexico to help you out, so be it. And now we can go back to war with these guys. We're going to also kill up Romania because we can. Are you a puppet of anyone? No? I mean, what's your point of existence then? Yeah, you guys stop training. Of course. Nope. I mean, we just ended the war and you literally started a new one up, so... Ah, Spartacus Alfstan. The things are getting worse. Proponents of Marxism has declared a general strike due to the resignation of the police president by the Ebert government. The main driving force of protest is a Spartacist movement which accuses us of counter-revolution. Um, counter-revolution? They are ready to provoke a civil war. All measures must be immediately taken to suppress the Spartacist uprising. Fry Corps units already support us. Crush the uprising. Support. Yeah, crush them. Yeah, I mean, kill them off. I mean, honestly, we've won the Great War. Everything is over for us. I'm mean, sure we, we might have a couple deaths here and there, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Oh, wait, Sweden's back. I really don't like this peace conference that they put in the game. How are you not under me? I thought I made a monarchy in Finland. Uh, well, World War One. Number two, Electric Boogaloo. Here we go, my boys. Here we go. You guys are doing a great job in Belarus. We'll take out these red commies, and we'll make sure they stay dead. All right, let's go to war with these guys. Can we? How long will it take to go to war? What about this guy? Fine. We did it once. We'll do it again. And this time, they don't have a little Belgium to protect them. Emergency powers. Very good. Good. Reichstag crisis. Good. Well, that's not good, but you know what? It, whatever. I think it's time for a vaccine. Max vaccinations. Good. It's this way we don't have no more influenza. That hurts us. That hurts us quite a bit. No, no stability. Yeah, that's not good. Ah, look at that. Very nice. Of course, it takes some support to come in from our great allies. Great, great allies. Minsk will be ours. Crush him. Someone has fallen. Probably Belarus, I'd hope. Good. Uh, we end one great war. We go into a war against the commies. Hmm. Would anyone like to take this tile? No? Yes? Maybe so? Please just take it. So we can organize ourselves a little better than this? Yes. Oh, hello! Hello! What are you Canadians doing here? Good. We're going to be on the entire front. Let's organize ourselves a little bit better first. I believe that these guys are still... Oh, they have a little bit of manpower now. They might have still gotten an extensive conscription. Good. Sink the enemy convoys. Maybe get a little bit more fuel for ourselves. Uh, most people can't really afford to give us anything. And Mexico doesn't like us, so screw Mexico. We'll come up with our own fuel then somehow, some way. So be it. I should have really researched that other technology by now. Hmm. All that matters is we sink the British goods. And enemy goods. Come on. Let us go. Let us go. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Nice. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Maybe we could use a few more dockyards, perhaps? Alright, so you guys over here. You guys look really good to go. And just in case, 
build up some air bases here. And we have a second communist uprising here. Very nice. Oh, yeah, sink the ships. They're doing the red movement, which is fine. Nice. Love it. Come on, we're itching to go. Let's go, go, go. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> Belarusians, People's Republic. All right, then. Come on, Mountain Republic. Give me the goods I want. Hello. Denmark? No, I took you out, too. So I'm going to actually just go back to war with you. Nope. I took out so many people, and nothing comes of it now. Oh, my God. Come on. We're running out of fuel here. Hmm. You know what? I didn't do this last time. Can we just trade with Venezuela, maybe? They sink a couple convoys, you know, so be it. And I'm expecting more land out of this Russia. Tarida? Huh. Tarida. Oh, it must have been in that one down there. Cool. Danish Civil Union is gone. And we have gone to war with the French. Good. White Peace Poland. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we're seeing ships like crazy. Well, not that crazily, but... Alright, you know. I'm, I'm cool with this, Poland, you know. If you want to expand a little bit. Ukraine, you're... That is disgusting. That is a disgusting Ukraine. I love it, but it's disgusting. Holy cow. Yeah, Romania, you're next on the chopping block. I'm not even sorry. Yeah, we're just mm, smashing through those French people. They wanted another world war. They're going to get another world war. And this time, we're going to subjugate them properly. We thought we could have honorable negotiations with the French last time, but they were snakes. And snakes, you know what you got to do with snakes? you got to cut the head off of the snake to make sure it doesn't come back. And the Soviet state of Finland, or Norway, I mean, is gone. We're going to do it right this time. Ah, uh, a grand battle fleet. We need carriers. We really need to get carriers sometime. If I send my fleet here... Oh, wait. What am I going to do? Capital ships. That is not good. Um, they all die. No, they're over there, so... I mean, we're doing the exact same thing again. Just because you're commies doesn't mean that you get that much any peace. The only difference is that we're not at war with Italy right now. And let's keep it that way. I don't want to kill off Italians. Italians are nice people. Well, generally, as long as they don't go to war with us. Get 0.52 political power a day. Come on, give us that vaccine. Or, well, we already have it. Just mass develop it. Uh, Greece? Greece? And I like the Greeks, but you too must be crushed. And you're on Cyprus, of course. Beat up the Brits. Beat up the Brits. It looks like we're going to need a lot more fuel. Venezuela, I love you, Venezuela. Oh, we need more chromium, too. That's fine. And when we get this stuff done, we're going to get that next technology that will allow us to... Get more space to develop here. Even though it won't really matter, because I might just take over all of this. So... I mean, the, the French failed so hard. And so hard. It's not even funny. Oh, I love it. Oh, we're mobilizing. Nice. Oh, we're mobilizing because we have the vaccine thing. Ah, and there we go again. That's all it took. Two world wars to beat the French twice. There go the Soviets. Beautiful. Abolish the dictatorship. Right that crisis. Um, we don't have that. Military quenched. Oh, God. Rebuild the civilian economy? Sure, we could try that, so. Oh, we get the Reichs back. I could have, could have done that. Well, this is just an evolution of what's going to come eventually, so. Uh, let's have a, we've got to save fuel. I was going to say use my other people to use this, like, you know, the armored cars and stuff. But now we good. We good. We good, Ottomans. We good, man. Thanks for offering. So when is this piece? Oh, this piece is not going to end up strikes. 
make propaganda out of it. So now we've got to kill off the UK. And... Oh! Not the US. Even though we might be at war with them. For... I don't know why. But we just got to kill off the UK now. Nice. But that's where we're going to end today's episode. This got very, very interesting. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. Maybe subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow when we will invade the UK. And maybe put down this little communist revolt. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.